In this video, we'll be graphing reflections. The equations are given by the generic equation y equals a negative f of x or y equals f of negative x. Now, if you see your negative out in front of the f of x, that means that you're negating the y value. And to negate the y value means that you're reflecting across the x-axis. So you may possibly be going from a positive y value to a negative y value, or from a negative y value to a positive y value. If you negate the x, if you see a negative inside of the function, and all of the x's are negated inside, then you're reflecting across the y-axis. So you may possibly go from a positive x value to a negative x value, or vice versa. Our first example is to graph g of x equals a negative absolute value of x. Now our basic graph is y equals absolute value of x right here. And I've shown the graph right here. We know that it looks like a v. And then I've listed some of the points on that graph. So because our negative is out in front of the function, we're negating our y value. So negate the y value. So our point then corresponding to negative 4, 4 on the basic graph is going to be negative 4 negative 4. Go ahead and do these real quick. Negative 3, negative 3. Now when we plot these, we have negative 4, negative 4. Negative 3, negative 3. Negative 2, negative 2. So our g of x graph is shown here in red. Look at another one. And on this one, we're asked to graph h of x is equal to the square root of negative x. Now, on this one, our basic graph is the square root graph, y equals square root of x. And you'll notice that this time we're negating the x. So to get points on our h of x graph, we want to negate x. 0 doesn't have a negative, so that point remains on the h of x graph. Negating x here, we have negative 1, 1, negative 4, 2, and negative 9, 3. So our basic graph, y equal the square root of x, we're showing here. For our h of x graph, we're going to have these points. Our h of x graph is shown in red.